Hey, Joel, Kobe Bryant, who's about to inbound the ball, is 14 points away from passing Elgin Baylor in the Lakers' all-time scoring list. Normally, Kobe doesn't care about stuff like that, about records, but I talked to him about it before the game, and he told me because of the two names that are ahead of him, Elgin Baylor and Jerry West, he cares a great deal about this. He said he has the utmost respect for Elgin Baylor, huge fan of his personally and professionally, and if he gets those 14 points tonight, it would be significant to him because it's Elgin, Joel. Chance opportunity. I'm surprised they don't ask Mike Miller to do more offensively. You know, he's a guy that you know, has a history of being a tremendous shooter. Slips it inside. Nice assist for Kevin Love. Miller can score. One man up or the perimeter guy for the easy jump. The size advantage for Pau Gasol. So you want to see him on the box with it against Kevin Love. He's got it. And he's got the first two points of the game for the Lakers. Well, they should they should milk that until, until there's nothing left. But talk about a well-conditioned athlete. Now Kevin Love as the clock comes down. Foy leaving it off. Now will they get it off in time? Yes. Found the right guy. Telfair has increased his range. He hits the triple. In Miami, career best on Wednesday night, 30 points for Sebastian Telfair, former first-round pick of the Blazers in 2004. Toby in the post, here comes the double. Quick pass out, somebody's got to be free. Extra pass, Luke Walton, and Luke coming off season highs last game. Little carryover, ties it at five apiece. He better miss a shot soon, though, because if he keeps going five for five like he did, he'll go out. And I was come waiting back for in. that. <laughs> yeah, he was out for quite a while, and he was uh, you know, shooting pretty well. He had 14 points, eight rebounds, both season highs for Luke. The last two games, very consistent. Telfair, you better close. You used to want him to take that shot, but still, now he's got confidence. Yeah, you, you still kind of want him taking it. <laughs> the run, Foy can't handle it. Now, shot clock considerations, and he knows it. He'll find Gomes. Beat the clock and just barely for a five-point lead early for Minnesota. Problems with turnovers over the last couple of games. Crease for Gomes, and Love wasn't ready for it. Out of bounds. They've had 42 turnovers over the last two games. That is a first so far. Gasol running and rewarded. It's back to a three-point deficit. Well, if you want your bigs to keep running like that, you better reward them. So one and done, Lamar Odom bringing it up for the Lakers. Turn around and Kobe's on the board. One point game. So Kobe's first basket of the game, and John just documented that. John Ireland talking about needing 14 for the 20th spot on the all time scoring list. Mike Miller, and that is his game. Yes, it is. Spotting up, spacing, and waiting. 13 9, Minnesota, real hot to start, and especially beyond the arc. Kobe on the turnaround over the smaller man. He can do that all day long on Randy Ford. Yeah, that's why I was saying that who's ever in the post, you just have to make quick decisions. Because He's the beginning of three of five from beyond the arc for Minnesota. Almost five minutes gone by and a two-point lead for the Wolves. Kevin Love, and he's got a good stroke. Back to four, 15-11. Can he look back at the official? Now Gomes on the run. And Lamar stayed out of his way but did contest it. So no contact. Kobe over Kevin Love. Pau Gasol. What a catch. That, <laughs> that, was, ball. that was something. Because not only was it a great catch, but he was under the basket. <laughs> so when he caught it, he was somehow able to lay it in while in the air. Basco, got to review it. That's <laughs> Kobe with the jump pass. And Pau, be ready. Because if your hands aren't in the ready position there, that ball goes right through your body. Five consecutive games here on their home floor. As their last home victory came on January 25th at the expense of the Bulls, and they won it in overtime over Chicago. Chicago losing on the road today by seven at Indiana. And a big game for them uh, for that eight spot in the Eastern Conference. Let's talk about some of the other games earlier today. Well, Jason Collins has checked into the game. Kevin Love's got a couple of fouls, so Harvard Westlake product into the contest very early tonight. Luke Walton up against Mike Miller, backing him down. Spacey, Fish of the run out. Inside the arc gives the Lakers the lead at 16-15. Wise choice. In that time, Luke Walt was being guarded by uh, Mike Miller. So Soskin looked like a turnover waiting to happen. Now, we'll set it up for Gomes. And Gomes regains the advantage for Minnesota. So the Timberwolves at 58%. Both teams 7 of 12 from the field so far. So you saw that score giving up 65 the first half. They've had some issues defensively. Mismatch, Kobe using the glass. And Kobe up to a half dozen and counting, so only eight away from moving among the top 20 
in NBA scoring history. Bird on a consistent basis. Kobe had 39 on Friday night at Sable Center. 11 of the 39 coming in overtime. Billy Gomes on a challenge and go into the line. Clipped on the elbow by Lamar Odom. Good looking player. Team. Kyle Gasol going to Kobe and Kobe slams it. It's even at 20, and Kobe's got eight on four of six. Let's see, that's North Dakota, like Phil, how did you land up with his jersey? Uh, 1985, I was out for a run, and I was a yard sale going on, and I needed some more clothes, and I happened <laughs> to run by, and I saw this on a table for 50 cents. 50 cents, and it's his actual game-worn jersey. Who had the yard sale, do you know? Uh, it was in the neighborhood of his old baseball college coach, so I'm wondering if it wasn't his. <laughs> well, we're going to try and get Phil to sign that for you after the game. If he signs it, it'll be worth a lot. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to keep it. Phil's always been a hero of mine. I want to keep it. Well, thanks for stopping by and sharing that with us. Thanks again. That's Brad Olson, guys, with Phil's college jersey. Back to you. But that's a good defensive uh, possession for the Lakers. They got after it. Kobe denied Foy and Lamar really worked. And Lamar, yeah, Lamar on the fall away is rewarded at the opposite end. And Lamar gets his first basket of the game on his second try. Lakers with their biggest lead of the game now. They're up by three. Now we've got a little more than two minutes to play in the first quarter. Mike Miller, too easy as Ariza came into the game. That's a good screen away from the ball to keep Powell from being able to make a play defensively by Collins. Kevin Ollie, L.A. native, matching up with Jordan Farmar, who's also just checked into the game. And Farmar on the curl behind and over his shoulder on the reverse. Good to see Jordan get to the rim. Plenty of game. Now Farmar again sets up Pau Gasol, doesn't get the roll. You know, that's one where Pau can't try to duplicate Jordan Farmar. He's got to try to dunk that one. Randy Foy, inside position. Mike Miller, not known for his rebounding. 25-24 as Miller gets his third early bucket. He's lead the league in that category. Lamar inside the arc, long two. And it's back to a 27-26 one-point well, advantage amazing, for the Lakers. It's amazing how much better you shoot as a first resort. Lamar came off of that one and had shot in mind. Farmar taps it. Good rotations defensively. A break for the Lakers, and Ariza will finish it off. Good tap by Jordan Farmar along the baseline. Then Sasha got possession of it, gives it back to Jordan. And easy hoop for Trevor. The outside of the telecast. They've turned it over a lot lately. 21 on average over the last two games. Sasha with the extra pass. Josh Powell with a face-up game. And the Lakers now with their biggest lead of the contest. 31-26 and a half dozen from the guys off the bench. Well, Josh Powell acting like Sasha on that one. I mean, you talk about a quick catch and shoot. Well, but then... On January 30th, one by 13, 132-119 over the Wolves. Smith, clear path to the basket. And a little runner by the big guy. Now where was the defender on that play? Huh? Josh Powell was on the other side of the paint. And all of a sudden, Smith has a, a freebie. So two minutes gone by. This all working against Jason Collins. And over Collins, soft touch. Off the lip of the rim, back to a half dozen. Not only soft touch, but great read because Jason Collins was there defensively. And yeah, that was a poor decision that time. Thrown away. Points off a turnover. Carney leaves it off. Talk they're about ragged. They're going to get a basket yeah, out of that. Talk about <laughs> ugly. And they'll take it. 34 33. Nine minutes left in the half. A lane for Ariza. And Trevor off the glass. 36-33. Ariza with his second bucket. Trevor doesn't need much of a lane. He, he see. Good play on the pick and roll. Ali wasn't going back that other way anyway. Now Craig Smith. Couple of fakes and got it away. Craig Smith making a living in the paint. How about nine points in five minutes on 4 of 4 for Craig Smith? You could make the four that he made. <laughs> Jordan Farmer leaves it off with a beautiful pass. Pau Gasol on the dunk, and the Lakers are back up by three. That's what happens when you uh, don't stand or spectate. Good front of the rim. Lakers by three. Lamar Odom back on the floor for the Lakers. Pau Gasol gets his first break of the game, and Lamar. Oh, boy, stroke looks great. 40-35. You talk of the confidence when it's just decisive. Yeah, I mean, that's the way you have to be. I mean, somebody keep him off the glass and defend him when he's in the paint. 
Telfair back in on the dribble penetration. Sebastian Telfair. Well, he was taken 13th overall in 2004, and everybody thought it was way too soon. And he struggled. Now Kobe will keep it alive. Looked like a turnover, didn't it? Now Kobe the mismatch. Backing down Telfair. On the dive, it'll be Lamar Odom. Kobe went and he found him. 42-39. Second assist, making Jordan. the third. Jordan, Jordan again. took it away. Short. Real short. He said, I stole it. I deserve this one. The first of the year against Washington. 36 for Smith that night. DJ Bengian. Kobe. Over the smaller man and Kobe into double figures and only four away from top 20 all time as Kobe's got 10. Let's see if the Lakers can close out the final five and a half with a, a real defensive spurt here. Will it be points off a giveaway? A little more than four and a half left in the first half. They'll call a trip on Benga. And is that number five or number four on the Lakers? That is team foul five. So now the Wolves shoot the rest of the half. He had a career best. So they're backcourt in consecutive games. Career highs on Wednesday night in Miami for Telfair. And for Randy Foy, he had 36 with five turnovers and a little gas. Boy, that looked like a tired free throw. Got to be up more. Come on. And they've outscored Minnesota 13 to 4 in points off turnovers. Going to be Gomes. Ryan Gomes tying things up at 44. So another one beyond the arc. The fourth make on nine tries on three-point attempts for Minnesota. Early entry, Lamar Odom, quick release, doesn't get the roll. Well, he's got that good quick release, but he's got to mix it up now. He's got to uh, let the defender know that you're not going to be able to get a timing jump on me. Fake that shot once in a while. Gomes with the left hand. So back-to-back -back for Gomes. As he leads the Wolves and all scores now with 14. Randy Foy back on Kobe, so that's where the Lakers look to exploit again. The double chain. Lamar Odom lost it against Telfair. And Love with two fouls already. Wasn't going to try to get risky there. It's even at 46. Telfair. Good close by the Lakers, but Telfair again with Miller down in the box. Randy Foy. So they're spacing. Seen that before. And a three-point lead for Minnesota. It's that dribble penetration again. It's just a Telfair getting to the paint. Ben. Now Gomes again. It'll be Foy. And on the long rebound. Good job. Luke Walton couldn't control it, but directed it, tapped it for Pau Gasol. Kobe again has the inside position on Randy Foy. There's the dive by Gasol. Kobe found him. It's a one-point game, 49-48. You see how quick you have to read that? Because on the catch, Kobe had that second defender there. The Jersey Nets went to Memphis, coming over during the offseason. Minnesota, last year of his current agreement. And a guy who can definitely board, do little things downstairs for you. Kobe again, following up with the smaller man, and he is only two away. From joining and a very elite group in the top 20. Yeah, he got away with a three-second violation that time, Miller. Lamar's got to watch out. Break for the Lakers. Will it be, though? <laughs> that looked like an automatic, didn't it? Yes, it did. Looked like a turnover. Should have been one. Back door. Powell's there. Luke found him. Yeah, that was a great pass. Right on the, at the right height because there was a center with Powell there, but Jason couldn't elevate the foul early, which leaves you more time to operate with him. With eight seconds, uh, 8.4, that's enough time to operate. Two-man game, Powell Gasol, Luke Walton on the assist again. Lakers by four, final shot for the Wolves. It'll be Gomes, not close. And the Lakers with a nice close to the half, an 8 nothing run. Again, I mean, they put enough defensive pressure on them in the final minute or so to get, overtake that little deficit. That's the way they have to play, though, for 48 minutes. Wolves with the ball to start the second half. Telfair, and there's the mismatch. Looking on the hesitation to get inside. It's Gomes, shot clock down. He's up with a triple. That's been killing the Lakers, the dribble penetration of the kick. That is their sixth three-point field goal of the game on 14 tries. Kobe, six of eight. Double figures in the first half. Powell not converting with the left hand. Man, too close to the basket to miss. Good look like that. Telfair loses the handle. Picked up by Luke Walt. Now Kobe leaking out. And Kobe now in the top 20 all-time scoring.
He has just surpassed the totals of Elgin Baylor. So a future Hall of Famer passing one already in the Hall of Fame. Turnover led to an easy deuce for that score. And the West and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for most points in franchise history. And Kobe will get the roll. So the Lakers back out on top by three, 58-55. Kobe up to 16. Now, opportunity for the Lakers. Can they create some space? No. Pocket pick cleanly. Telfair took it away from Fish. Gomes on the move and on the trail. Kevin Love. Points off a turnover. The Lakers dominated that department in the first half, but early deuce there for Love. As a result of a Laker mistake. Back door, Kobe. Finger rolls it home with a perfect lob by Lamar Odom. Well, again, Randy Foy trying to figure out a way to do this. He's working on the inside, taking advantage of his size advantage. He's got all the points for the Lakers so far. As Mike Miller gets inside, you don't figure he's going to get dribble penetration. Kobe again tapping it, trying to direct it to Pau Gasol instead. It's another turnover. And a break for the Lakers because Fish grazed him a little bit, but no whistle. He could have been a three-point play for Minnesota. Instead, points off a turnover and a one-point lead for the Wolves. We're shutting you down. Kobe again on the block against the much smaller Randy Foy. Here comes the double. He'll jump at the foul. Man, shoved from behind by Sebastian Telfair. So a couple of free throws coming up for Pau Gasol. Kobe just waited. Bentley now. Right, next on the list. Lamar. Boy. Quick one. Quick trigger. Five-point Laker lead, and that's their, well, their biggest was six. But what you want to do as a unit is set defensive goals, and as an individual as well. Fresh shot clock for Telfair in the mid-range game. Sebastian Telfair, he really does look like a different guy. Well, his conf you can tell just yep. by the way he's approaching it. His confidence is uh, at an all-time high. I'd like to see Paul get down to the box against Kevin Ludlow. Instead, Luke Walton. Fish, deep three. Shooter's touch. Derek's got it. <laughs> Derek says, about time I made one. <laughs> it's his second. Derek didn't beat him to the spot, and it'll go. Randy Foy going to the line, looking for the three-point play. Before they could really do anything, Minnesota had inbounded the ball, and they have a one-on-one -on -one situation going the other way. Blocking foul, count the basket, three-point opportunity for Randy Foy. Quickie. So they did can convert on the three-point play. Lakers up by two. Farmar checks in for Derek Fisher, who just picked up the foul. Pau Gasol, easy, makes it look easy. 72-68, Gasol 9 of 12, 23 points. Talked about how quiet he, he is. Just, he does it every night. Now, Farmar went one way, and the layup uncontested for Sebastian Telfair. So you're looking for stops, and there's a serious breakdown. Here comes the double. Kobe on the fall away. Won't get it. Short, real short. Kevin Love, despite the pressure, can't hold on to it. Lamar Odom just took it away. LO's got Kobe coming down the hole. And it'll be Lamar Odom on the slam. So they take it away from Love. And the patience of Lamar paid off. He waited. Didn't wow. just go up with it. Well, obviously, there, I thought there should have been a whistle. That either had to be a charge or a block to, to Lamar. Splitting the double is Telfair. He'll go to the line, and he's got an opportunity for a three-point play. So a little brush that time draws the whistle. And Sebastian Telfair doesn't need much of a brush to get free. His quickness. But on the other end, after Lamar did a remarkable job of harassing Kevin Love into turning it over, then finds Kobe. This is the play right there. That either has to be a charge or a block. Too much contact for that to be anything other than that. It looked like his heel was on the line. You just heard from one of them, Joel. Yeah, John, that's a nice touch. And I like what the Wolves are doing. That's really strong by this organization to bring back local legends at games like they did tonight and honored them. Craig Smith maneuvering his way inside. Now, that was a, uh, not an easy shot he no. made there, though, with his offhand. I don't even know if he saw the basket. Kobe tees it up inside the arc to give the Lakers a four-point lead after Powell, uncharacteristically, out of the timeout, missed two free throws. Eight. Farmar trying to get it to Pau. Saved by a reason. Right through the hands of Gasol. And now points off a turnover. It'll be Craig Smith. All even at 78. So Craig Smith has 15. And he hasn't missed because it looks like that. He's 7 of 7 for the field. Lakers. 
Kobe, though, trying to create and turned it over. Gave it to Smith. On the trail, Smith will get it back, and the Wolves have the lead. 19.4 to play. Way too many mistakes by the Lakers now. A 6-0 run for Minnesota. I said they have 12 minutes in them. They're going to have to use it because we're going to the fourth quarter with the Lakers uh, hoping to be at least tied. An undersized Minnesota team. Kobe, will they get it off in time? No. Pass was late. Ariza banks it, but it won't count. And Minnesota closes the third on a 10-2 run. Along with Lamar, Josh Powell, Trevor Ariza. And Sasha looking for his first field goal attempt. The spacing, the ball movement on the run out. Sasha, beautiful pass for Lamar Odom. And he'll go to the line, leading to the three-point play. Extra pass paid off. Good ball movement that time. Really did a good job of making the next pass. Into the level of your competition. Always be constant, consistent. For some reason, the sense of urgency has to be there. Gomes says Ariza fell down. Makes him pay. So the Lakers down by two, 83-81 on 7 of 18 from beyond the arc. The time on the shot clock. And Farmar taps it, takes it away. That's the kind of activity he had in the first half. It'll be Lamar going to the line, looking for the three-point play. What a mistake. Well, if you're going to grab him there, you have to just wrap up both arms. They gave the foul to Lamar, and he just waltzed in for the layup. Great job by Jordan. A double tap. Gets the ball into Lamar's hands. And that's just the easiest shot Lamar will have. They got to 132 here. On January 30th, they had seven in double figures, led by Kobe's 30. Boy, creating, got to the rim again. Boy, did he do a great job of using his body. Put it in his left hand. Josh Powell was trying to make a play. Shot locked down on Lamar. And it was defended well. Smith first, and then Collins, and the run out for Carney. Lakers didn't have floor balance defensively, and now they're down by five. 89-84 Minnesota, believe it or not. Isolation, Josh Powell, better in the face-up game, and it shows. Over Jason Collins, 89-86, Powell with four off the bench. So the Lakers, seven on the shot clock. Sasha, got to make a decision. It'll be Josh Powell. Back to back for Powell in the face-up game. 89-88, big time. Pick and roll. Miller, back into the contest. Smith. Boy, he gets it away in a hurry for a guy. That is kind of... Uh, a burly sort, to say the least. Well, he likes to feel your body. That way he knows he can get the quick jump and doesn't have to jump as high if he has you on his hip. Powell wanted to go to a reason. That pass was taken away. Farmar for the lead. Jordan's got the triple. Lakers up by a couple. 93-91. It's a half dozen for Farmar in his second bucket of the game. Telfair again. Barged his way in. He just created a contact, created a little space, and then flipped her. Good job to keep him out of the paint. And I'm talking about Telfair. Golds with the shot clock down. Miller gets a layup out of it. Believe it or not. Tied at 95. That's frustrating when you play defense like that for about 20, 22 seconds. Pop it up. Quick release. Short. And Gasol, good position on Collins. Lamar's down to the baseline. Got to go to the rim. Either get it on the inside to power or go to the basket. Kobe got there and goes to the line looking for the three-point play. He heard you. close by. 97-95. And Kobe with the bucket is up to 22. Well, let's see if the Lakers can get this uh, free throw, get a three-point advantage as Kobe weaves his way into scoring position. And then somehow call on their defense to not break down because that's what it's been. It's been breakdown. It's freed up the Timberwolves for a lot of easy looks. Converts on the three-point play as Kobe is now 3-3 three of three at the free throw line. And when you see that he only had two so far here in the fourth, remember, he sat out the first almost five minutes before. Good job to 9 boy. Will they continue, though? Good help and recover by Lamar. Now gets the smaller back, a step back three. Put the hand out for three, and they'll give him three. 
98 apiece. There was way too much congestion on that play. Not only did Luke have a mismatch, but there was other players that brought their uh, their defenders into the play. Gomes on the run out. Man, it'll be a charge. They say Fisher got there in time. A break for the Lakers. Well, the Lakers need some breaks because they're not getting it, <laughs> getting it done on both ends of the floor. But they starting five on the floor for the Lakers. Gasol slips it. It's over to Luke for three. Yes! Walton with the pressure on. Puts the Lakers up by four. Yeah, but you know how this game has been seesawing back and forth here. And getting this team to think about what their record really is. Now Gomes up against Gasol. Telfair. Now shot clock considerations. Sets it up for a good look for Miller. Leaving the shooter again. Again, why is Luke leaving Mike Miller? Let the interior help on the penetration from Sebastian Telfair, not when you're one pass away against a shooter. Lakers struggle just to get it for Kobe. Up against Randy Foy. Now Gasol. Fish. Another triple. Got it! Lakers by four. Clutch. 104-100. Well, how many times have we said that about Derek Fisher? <laughs> the guy hits some big shots all through his Laker career. It'll be Gomes with an answer. They've been doing that regularly. The Lakers have not stayed on the guys on the perimeter from the beginning of the game. A late close. Kobe asking for it against Randy Foy. No double yet. A spin to the baseline. It'll be a fall away. Kobe rattles her home. 106-103. Now this is the back and forth. First team to miss may lose. Not the first team to get a stop. <laughs> Path is there for Telfair. Do you believe it? Nobody at home for the Lakers. And you and I saw the floor spread. And so did Telfair. Well, especially with Jaron Collins on the floor. You can. Wait. Now comes back to Powell. Collins hits the deck. Kobe, the triple, real short. Lamar taps it home. The length of Lamar, it's been there all night. It continues in the fourth late with the pressure on. Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. <laughs> the guy normally taps it into himself. This time, with the right hand, he taps it up and taps it in. As Kobe's three is off the mark, but not Lamar's. And the Lakers have themselves a three-point advantage. Oh, that's scary because there's 20 seconds left to play. It seems like they're going to try to lengthen the game. At least on that last possession, that's what they had in O. Oh, yeah, wide open three. Gomes, an air ball. Kobe's got it. And the Lakers should be able to escape the foul by Mike Miller. You Gomes, talk about yeah, open. Couldn't ask for a better <laughs> look. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh, Man. boy. I keep harping back to you switching things. And Lamar got caught in a bad position, but... You talked about someone thinking about the situation. I think Gomes thought about that when his arms got short. <laughs> I think he squeezed the life out of the ball, too. Possession game. They can still advance to the timeout of the board for McHale and the Wolves. Give him a little bit of breathing room. Kobe got the second. And there still shows a timeout for Minnesota. They're picking up at the half-court line. No fouls now. And Lamar, well, they have well, they fouled again, but foul to give. that far away, yeah. I'm, it's yeah. early, 11.8. Three, because they're going to have to foul. And you can keep it at least a... Ooh. Randy Foy gets the triple over Pau Gasol. Now trying to get it to Kobe and the foul. So now it's a free throw shooting contest because of the make by Foy. No, it's not a free throw contest anymore. Well, a free throw shooting contest yeah. to make two yeah, to right. prevent exactly. disaster. Repelling, all of a sudden he, he may rear up and knock down the uh, three-pointer. Kobe comes through. Lakers by three. Now, if you're the Lakers, do you think about maybe taking a foul after they use a few seconds? Well, that's, that's not a theory that I think Phil Jackson uses very much. Randy Foy. Five seconds to play. Trying to force overtime. Up against Lamar Odom. The prayer short. real short. And the Lakers survive a scare in Minneapolis. Well, the Lakers wanted the fans here in Minnesota to get their money's worth. You know, the economy is such you got to get the value of the dollar is very, very important now. So they want to make sure that if you're going to spend your entertainment dollar, you're going to stay in your seat until the final horn. And that's what happened again tonight as Randy Foy's shot came up about a foot short.